How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, in the building. Now, I thought I would take the time to help everybody out. Now, I do have my Nintendo Switch running 5.0.2 over here on the right. That is the one running the RetroArch SNES emulator, I'm going to call it, or Virtual Console. Um, when I do load into it, I want to let you guys know that save states are working. Now, what you're going to want to do once you first load into the emulator is go to configuration, go to load configuration, and then you're going to want to go to parent directory SD. Now, what you're going to want to do is within the folder, I'm going to include a download link for, there's going to be an SNES configurations folder. You're going to place that on the root of your micro SD card. That means when you Say, put your micro SD card in your Windows computer, plug it in. When you first double click to open up your micro SD card, place the SNES configurations folder on the root of your SD card. Now within that is gonna be the config.cfg file. That's a good thing, leave it in there. Now the actual folder that all that came from with the .nro file, you're going to want to place that in your switch folder on your micro SD card. Now, when you first load up the RetroArch, you're going to go to configurations, load configurations. You're going to find this file or folder. Then you're going to click into it and then you're going to load the config.cfg file. When you load that, it's going to load the configurations that I have set for everybody right now for this video, whatever you want to call it. Now when I go to load content, start directory, it's going to load me right into the SD, switch, ROMs, and SNES folder. Now I'm going to jump down to a game real quick and I'm going to show you guys that save states are working. You just have to be really patient. Now to load your save states, I have it set up so L is to load your save states. It's your Pro Controller, your Joy-Con, it's your L button. And um, to save your state, save states, you want to push the R button. So R is to save them, L is to load. Pretty simple. And once you go into it, click the game, click it. One more time, should load up. Now, as soon as you see any activity, hit that L button. Now, like I said, you're going to want to be patient. The loading of save states is slow. It takes a minute. Now, when it comes to saving your save state with that R button, make sure you wait 5 to 10 seconds, depending on your micro SD card, the speed and everything like that. Now, to load your save state, remember, push the L button and bang, just like that. Save state loaded. Game's working. No problems there. Um, and jump here just to show it is working. Maybe I'll save this save state. With the R button, I just clicked it while I was on that wall. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. It should save that save state there. I'm going to exit this game by going into the menu. Now, to go into the menu, it's not the plus and minus for this configuration we got set up here. It's L3 and R3. L3 and R3. Push those two and you'll load into the menu. I'm going to close content. Push the back button. I'm going to load content, start directory, bang, back into our directory. I'm going to look for a game that I'm going to load. I could load up, uh, let's see, something I like to play. Actually, let me go back, make sure I'm loading the right one. Yes. Now, remember, as soon as you see activity, load that save state. Save yourself time, Nintendo. I'm going to push the L button. I'm going to leave the controller there. No gimmicks, no nothing. I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to be patient. Got my Yoshi's Island right here. Very good game. It runs really smooth too. It runs really nice on the emulator. You just got to be patient, like I said, when it comes to loading your save states. Bang, right into the game. I'm going to click the button, jump in. Yes, the audio is working. Good stuff. I just made, I just pushed the load button on my save state, so it may jump 
back, but I think what happens if it does, it may freeze the emulator. So, usually I recommend that you load your save states once after starting. Um, then you can either restart if you need to load your save state again and hit the L button. Or um, you can just close the content and go to something else. And then when you load that, load your save state once. Um, try not to save your save states too many times. And try not to load them too many times after launching the emulator or the game, I should say. The game itself. Like if you load your save state within the game... Um, Try not to load back to that same state, save state without restarting or exiting and going back in because it probably won't work. You may have some trouble. Um, it may freeze the emulator. It's expected. Remember, you do have to be patient. I'm going to start another game here. I should have a save state for. I'm going to push that L button. L1 on my PS4 controller, but it is the L button if it was my Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller. I'm going to be patient. This game should load too. In just a moment, I'm going to turn the volume up just to show you. It's working. No complaints there. So remember, when you save your save states with the R button, wait about 5 to 10 seconds. Make sure it's there. That it's saved. Um... Make sure you load back into the game or you restart the game before you load that save state. Um, to go into the menu, it's L3 and R3. Um, you can close content, go back, load content, start directory. We could see if that Mega Man save did work live on camera kind of thing. I'm going to go to the X2. Now I saved, remember, I had saved when I was jumping on the wall. If I'm not mistaken, I was able to hit the R button as I kept jumping along the wall on the right side. So when I load into the game, I should be able to push the L button. Actually, I'm going to push that now. I don't know why it took so long there. I'm going to push the L button, and it should jump back in. Like I said, some games, the save states do load quicker. This game last time loaded pretty quickly. I just saved another state. As I progressed a little bit forward. And we're going to hope that it jumps back into where I was. See, just on the wall and he jumped down. So, there you have it. Save states are working. You have to be patient. You really do. 5 to 10 seconds to save your save states with the R button. And I would say 10 to... No. 10 to 30 seconds... To load your save states. So. Here I am falling all the way down. Not, I don't know why. It seemed like I couldn't jump the way I wanted to there. I haven't played this one ever. I don't think I've played this one. I've played part one and part three I think. But not part two itself. This is a really good game. Supposedly it's going to be on the eShop and everything like that. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and everything. This is Mega Man X. Two, running beautiful, right here, right now, check the clock, check your time, check the date, here it is you guys, our virtual console has arrived, and I'm very happy about it, and on the left here we got a Game Boy Color game running on the Game Boy Advance, if you guys would like some information on that, I can show you that too, uh, I think the controller turned off there on me for a second. Or the game froze because I let it sit there for so long. But who cares about that? We're here for the SNES. I hope everybody enjoyed. All the best. Your boy Leonidas. I'm going to play some games for a bit. Might even do a gameplay video. Looks like I'm doing pretty good. I don't have the fast forward, rewind, or anything like that enabled right now. It's not working the greatest. I do apologize for that. But that's how it is right now at the state of the emulator. So... We're going to have to leave it at that. I may go back into one other thing real quickly. Um, let's see real quickly. When you actually leave the emulator, make sure you go here and you go to quit. RetroArch. And actually quit the emulator itself. Take care, you guys. I'm trying to help and do my best. Your boy Leonidas, peace.